Artificial inseminations, or IUI, uh, otherwise known uh, as, is a low-tech, low-cost uh, procedure uh, which serves for most couples as first-line therapy uh, in combination with fertility medications, or it can be done uh, standalone. Uh, it's the preparation of sperm that's done by an andrology, uh, andrologist, uh, the andrology lab, and that sperm is then um, processed and then uh, with the clinician or the doctor determining when is the, good, the best time to do the artificial inseminations, uh, the sperm is then deposited uh, inside the woman's uterus. Uh, and then the sperm uh, then traverses through the open tubes uh, and out to where the ovaries are where the egg is uh, supposedly being ovulated at that time. A good candidate for IUI is uh, basically any uh, woman with a reproductive capacity whose uh, tubes are open, their fallopian tubes are open, but uh, there's a subgroup of patients who uh, are better candidates, usually uh, women who have normal ovarian reserve, uh, have a hysterosalpingogram that has documents uh, open tubes. Um, and uh, has a good prognosis for artificial inseminations in terms of working. Who's not a good candidate for artificial inseminations are usually women uh, who are probably a little bit older. Uh, 40 is the age cutoff that we use, but we also use uh, standard uh, ovarian reserve testing such as FSH and estradiol, uh, where if those numbers are indicating that egg quality is not so good, uh, then uh, they should probably move on to something beyond artificial inseminations. Uh, women who are not also uh, good candidates are uh, women who have documented blocked tubes, have bad endometriosis, um, so other factors like that. A patient should do uh, approximately three to six IUIs prior to moving on to IVF in general. Uh, once you get beyond that point, uh, there's a, what I call a rate of limiting returns. You start, uh, you know, with each and every attempt, uh, the chances of getting pregnant with each artificial insemination goes down and down. So it's in the best interest of that couple not to do anything beyond that and discuss uh, further treatment options with their uh, fertility.